Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kristen, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you some specific reasons why your home might be looking cheap. Now, if you're familiar with my channel, you know we're all about how to create that luxurious look for less. It's all about budget-friendly design here, and I truly believe that you can get a designer, high-end, elevated look around your home without breaking the bank. If you enjoy watching and find this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button, and let's go ahead and jump right into it. One key element of design is scale and proportion. So if you have dis proportionate sized furniture around your home, pieces that do not fit the space properly, it's going to make your home look cheap. It just gives off the feeling that you're kind of whipping together whatever you've got and design isn't top of mind, which is totally fine. It doesn't need to be top of mind all the time, but if you're trying to make your home look luxurious and that's really important to your overall aesthetic around your home, you have to choose pieces that properly fit in your space. Measuring your space properly is key for this. It's not worth putting a giant sectional in your home that takes up pretty much the whole space because it's just gonna throw off the entire feeling of your home. Go for something that fits your space properly, doesn't take up the entire room, and you'll end up with a more put together, balanced look. The same thing goes for furniture and decor that's too small for your space. If you have small furniture in a large open space, it's leaving way too much empty space, and emptiness tends to make your home look cheap and unfinished. So it's all about getting the correct size pieces that are gonna fit in your home. If you're someone that rents or someone that moves from place to place, it's really important to invest in furniture pieces Pieces that can adjust in size. Think about modular sofas and extendable dining tables. If you're unsure if your furniture looks too large or too small, remember the three foot rule. Between each furniture piece, through all the pathways around your space, there should be at least three feet of space. That will allow you to walk through with ease. You won't be bumping into items. It's a comfortable amount of space for flow. Now let's talk curtains and drapery because this is one item that can take your space to the next level if done properly. I've always gone over specifics on how to hang curtains properly. I always think it's important to hang your curtains high to the ceiling, as wide as you can on your window to create a large expansive look. I love using pinch pleat curtains to create texture, using curtain rings and hooks to really elevate the curtains, making sure that they just hit the floor. And one more specific that will take your curtains to the next level is making sure that they're lined. Curtains that are lined instantly look more luxurious. Cheap curtains tend to look limp and thin, a little through and don't have much structure to them. So it's really all about lining. That's going to take your curtains to the next level. They have more weight to them. They're less transparent. They don't look so thin and limp. They actually hold their structure. So lining is good for those reasons, but it's also going to make your home from the exterior look more luxurious. It really does make your home look cheap from the outside if you have different colored curtains with different colored linings showing through your windows. Try and match the color of your lining around your entire home. That's going to take your curtains from looking cheap to high end instantly. Now here's something you can do to elevate the look of your kitchen today. If your fridge looks a little something like this, it's time to take down the papers, the magnets, the pictures and notes and postcards and clean up the look of your fridge. It's one of the largest things in your kitchen and it looks better clean and empty. If you wanna pin up important notes and pictures, I would use the side of your fridge that doesn't show right when you walk in, and that will still allow you to hang up those important things that you might wanna see all the time, but it's not in plain sight. A fridge that has a ton of different notes and pictures and colors and magnets all over it tends to make your entire kitchen look messy. Even if you generally keep it pretty clean, it just creates a cluttered look. I also like to use this acrylic calendar. I found this off Amazon, I'll have it linked down below, but it's a clean minimal look if you want to have a calendar on your fridge. It's magnetic, it acts as a whiteboard, and it also comes with the markers. So I really love it. I think they also have another version that's more of a to-do list or note, but these would be great alternatives if you're someone that likes to have those things out on display, but you want to do it in a more minimal way. Now, if you're trying to furnish and decorate your home in a very affordable way, but you still want to get good quality pieces, don't go for cheap furniture that you find in stores. Go for thrifted items, pieces that you find off of Facebook Marketplace. These are where you can find 
good solid wood furniture pieces and high quality furniture without spending a ton of money. This will allow you to get those good pieces, but for an extremely discounted price. One of my favorite places to look is actually Habitat for Humanity. Their restores are filled with good quality pieces and they definitely don't just take anything, anything that's broken, anything that's scratched or ruined. So you can find high quality pieces there that are completely discounted. So I highly recommend going the secondhand route when you're trying to furnish your home on a budget, but make it look expensive. I always recommend bringing in secondhand or thrifted items in any space that I'm making over. It really creates balance, adds a bit of character, and makes your home feel really cozy. Now some specific furniture and decor that you should just stay away from if you're trying to create an elevated look around your home is pieces that have that glitz and glam look. Pieces that have rhinestones and sparkles and just this glamorous look to them. I think the sparkle and glam of these pieces tend to trick a lot of shoppers into thinking that they are getting something fancy and expensive looking, but it's actually doing the opposite. I think if you're trying to create an elevated look, go for simpler items, pieces that have texture and interest with material choices, as opposed to detail on that level. High-end design is all about handmade items, organic textures and materials, and the glitz and glam look is a little bit too manufactured. So it's absolutely making your home look cheap. Now, when you're decorating your home, always make sure that you're going in the direction of a design style instead of a theme. Themes should really stick to kids' bedrooms. That's where it's fun, it's playful, the kids love it. But for the main areas around your home, stay away from themes. One theme that always pops into my head because I still see it everywhere is that coastal theme. You can still create the look of a beach home, a light, bright, airy space without putting shells and art pieces with waves all over your home. It's all about choosing fabrics, colors, and a style that's gonna give off that feeling that you're really after. If you wanna learn all about design styles and really figure out what your design style is, I definitely recommend checking out the video I made all about finding your design style. It's an amazing video on how you can decorate within each design style and really create a cohesive looking home. So stick to styles instead of themes for that high-end look in your home. Now, another specific thing that comes to mind that creates a cheap looking space is spaces that lack styling empty spaces, empty surfaces. There's a difference between minimalist design and just lacking styling altogether. I think there's specific surfaces and little vignettes that you can create that really help elevate your space and don't make it look empty and forgotten. So think about moments that you can capture around your home. I would always have some kind of styling on a surface around your home. Maybe that's your dining room table, maybe that's your entryway table, your kitchen island. Creating those vignettes of groups of threes, adding a little trim, just takes your space to the next level and makes your space look like you've thought about it. It has the intention of design behind it and it just elevates the look of your space instantly. Now a fun exercise that you can do around your home to refresh your space, make it look more expensive, is just simply change your furniture layout. It's free, it's fun to do, and it makes your home feel brand new. And sometimes furniture layouts that are just wrong for the space tend to make your entire home look cheap. So just by using the furniture you have, changing up the way it's positioned can improve the look of your space instantly. I think a good example of this is a bedroom where the bed is pushed into the corner. That just automatically makes your bedroom look cheap and by bringing it off the wall, really anchoring it with two nightstands on either side, creating that symmetry and balance in the space will instantly make your bedroom look expensive even without buying anything new. The same thing goes for your living room. If you have your sofa and your side chairs and all the furniture pressed up against the walls, you're leaving way too much room in the middle of your space. So by bringing items off the wall, repositioning it in your space to really fit with the focal point in your space, it will absolutely upgrade the look of your home. Now, one thing you can do for the closets around your home is invest in matching clothes hangers. Having matching clothes hangers across your entire home is going to make it look instantly elevated without doing any extra organization. By taking out the colorful black and white metal and wood hangers that are all mixed up in there, simplify and go for matching hangers to get a super elevated look. Velvet hangers are great for small spaces because they're really thin, so they allow you to hang more clothes up. And wood hangers are beautiful because they give off that fresh elevated look, but they do take up a little bit more space. So go for matching 
finishing hangers to create that organized, finished, and elevated look in your closets. All right, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I hope this gave you some ideas that you can use to tweak small areas around your home. I think by changing some of these design mistakes, you can elevate the look of your space and make it look like a designer space for less. Let me know down below in the comments one area of your home that you would really love to improve this year. If you enjoyed watching and found this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button, and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos. I have a huge announcement coming soon, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Love you guys so much, and I'll I'll see you in my next one. Bye.